Start of cut, automatic mode. An overview of the features integrated in the right-hand joystick is displayed on the right-hand cabin window. To move the WR, the machine must first be raised to its maximum height. The milling rotor is fully raised. The specified steering mode selected and both steering axles are brought into the straight-ahead position. The preferred travel gear is selected to move the WR forward. To start driving, the drive enable switch is unlocked first and the right-hand joystick then pushed gently forward. To reverse, the drive enable switch is pressed first and the joystick then pulled backward. The milling depth can be preset by pressing the F1 key on the screen of the operator's computer console. The pressure on the rear door of the mixing chamber is set using the F2 key. A value at the end of the green bar is recommended as a default setting. The machine's cross-slope control can be activated if it is to be operated at a defined cross-slope. The specified cross-slope is then automatically established via the lifting columns of the pre-selected machine side. The percentage slope is indicated on the left side of the computer screen above the lifting column display. If the cross-slope control is switched off, the machine always adjusts parallel to the ground via the four lifting columns. Now the milling rotor is switched on and brought to the specified speed. The Auto Start feature is activated by pressing the red-rimmed button on the right-hand joystick, which is confirmed by the flashing green LED in the joystick. In the next step, the lifting columns, front and rear doors of the mixing chamber, and the milling rotor are moved to their predefined settings. The progress of the individual actions is indicated on the computer screen. The appropriate operating gear is selected once all components have reached their end positions and the green LED in the joystick turned off. It is recommended to set the machine to Turtle 1. The WR can now be moved forward to commence operation using the joystick on the right armrest. An overview of the features integrated in the left-hand joystick is displayed on the cabin's front window. The operator can use the joystick to readjust the machine's slope at any time during operation. The screen displays information on the current cross-slope and position of the individual lifting columns.